Hello viewers, welcome back to Gods and Kings. I am at turn 79. I am one turn away from getting into Renaissance, which will, which will unlock rationalism for me. The rationalism social policy tree has been reworked, so now the first one, the first social policy will give me a 15% bonus to my science as long as the Empire is happy. And I'm currently so I'm taking up to acoustics and then I'm going to track back to the production uh, part of the tech tree, which is the bottom one. And since I'm going to hit Renaissance in one turn, I'm going to try to get the Oracle, which didn't go, it didn't go yet, so I'm going to try to use that fact. And I'm right now at a crossroads. I need to decide how I want to win this game. And by the looks of this game, I am probably gonna want to kill Washington at some point because he is going to. He's pounding on. Um, he already captured one Arabian city, and Mecca is going to fall because the Russians declared on Arabs as well. So Washington is going to be a constant threat and I need him eliminated at one point definitely. So what I'm going to do is build an another city here so I can get uh, another pearls and a lot of fish so I can grow my city here uh, quickly and I'll probably go for a space victory but I want to kill off Washington first and grab a nice chunk of land for myself. In the meantime I'll just try to build up my cities as fast as I can. So that's the plan. And I just realized that this city doesn't have a library. We're going to fix that soon. Library and then more horsemen. There we go. And Mecca was captured by Russia and I entered the sun. So in Renaissance the SPNR starts and when one player reaches Renaissance everybody gets one spy. Um, espionage works, it's passive so you don't need actually to move units through the map. Uh, what it does is you get spy one spy per era and you can get additional spies by some natural um, national wonders and um, I think England gets one extra spy. So, spies have ranks and spies can move into different cities. They can either move to your cities, uh, AI cities or city states. Uh, or city states. And depending on where, where they are, they can do different stuff. If, you're, if they are in your own cities, they defend against enemy spies. If they are in AI cities, they can steal tech, they give you visibility in that city uh, and if they are in city-states they can perform coups which is basically they give you um, influence in the city-state every few turns, I think it's 10 on quick speed and also that coup reduces enemy influence or other civs influence in that city-state and how effective all these actions are depends on the rank of your spy. Every spy can have three ranks. Um, so there are three aspects of espionage. Tech stealing or defending against enemy tech stealing, uh, city-state influence and well yeah that's basically it. Um, and it also gives you some ad advantages like in city visibility and so on. Um, the good thing about playing against AI is that now in diplomacy you can also, if you have a spy in, the, uh, in one of the AI capitals, uh, you get to get information about the activity of that AI. For example, if some AI is trying to attack somebody else or preparing for an attack, you can share the information with other AIs for diplomatic bonuses and obviously the AI can prepare for that 
and also the AIs which you are friendly with will sometimes share this information with you. So it's not just, you know, it gives you some insight into how the AI works and it's quite it's quite legal it's and it's beneficial. So um, the way I like to play with espionage is I first like to uh, level up my spy and the easiest way to do it especially if you're the tech leader technology leader is to place your spy into your capital or your highest tech um, city now as you can see this spy who is rank one is a recruit uh, is moving to and it takes one turn to move to my capital and um, you can see the list of available cities right here so in the top part of the screen are your cities and in the bottom of the screen are all the AI and city states you can actually see so the ones you discovered if a city is hidden you cannot send a spy into it um, and there is this information here which says potential and this screen here tells you how effective your spy is going to be um, or what's the threat or the p potential danger of enemy spies effectively stealing from you in this case for example Palenque has five stars so that means that this city is at high risk uh, of getting my tech stolen from other civs in comparison Tikal has only one star and Chicken Itza has only half a star so these cities are not so important if an enemy AI sends a spy into Chicken Itza, it's going to take him a lot of time to steal attack compared to if he sends it to Palenk. Uh, in comparison, the there is a s there is also a, a potential for enemy cities, and before you actually send a spy in there to see the real potential for enemy cities, the best way to determine whether it's worth it or not is the city size because larger cities also have greater tech um, so for example if I want to send a spy to the Incas or the Russians I'll probably choose the highest uh, population city to send my spy into uh, for city states it doesn't matter because so they don't have a potential value as the uh, mouse over says um, because the coup happens every 10 or more turns so you're not actually stealing text from them um, it's worth to mention that the higher higher your level of your spy the less likely it is to get killed or captured when performing an action and also the greater the effect of um, performing coups in city states so a rank 3 spy can really wreak havoc in city-states or when capturing or when stealing enemy techs and the same is true if you're defending with a high-level spy so um, try to level up your spies and the best way to do it as I said is to place them first in your cities your high-tech cities so they can catch enemy spies and level up by that I'm not sure how exactly the leveling works but um, <laughs> it happens whenever um, there is an enemy failure in capturing or uh, um, in trying to steal in tech so yeah those are the basics of espionage um, okay so Harun died and I got my gems back which is good um, and now I sent my spy to Palenk that's it and the next tech I'm going to go for is chivalry first and I can probably just go I'm going to spread my religion to Still 
exploring with my great admiral. Okay, so it seems that you are done here for now. You can mine this one. And you are going to go to Mecca already has a religion. And oh Russians also founded a religion. Okay, so after chivalry I'm going to go with optics and I'm just going to try to send my missionaries um, later to the other continent. I guess I can put them there for now. There we go. Sure, so she's interested in killing Washington, but I'm not ready yet, so unfortunately... Washington ended. So I have now two more horses I can use, which is good. Oh, so he is now at odds with Kathy. Oh, wait a second. He can still build Petra. That's very good news. Send. Yeah, I think I'll just pass on the um, on trying to spread my version to this continent of my own. And I completed the Oracle. And I'm going to adopt rationalism. Great. And now I can actually try to I don't know, build another settler. There we go. Open borders with Russia. Okay. city state. Now oh. there is a great new wonder which is called Alhambra. It gives you 20% culture output in the city, it provides a free castle and all units trained in that city get a drill promotion for free. It's a great wonder and I'll try to build it. And in this city I'm going to go with growth first. Actually, I might try to get Petra. Let me see if some other sieve started near desert. Petra is also another great new wonder. Yeah, Moscow can build it. But um, since she was military war oriented and the Arabs didn't make it in time, I can probably try to build it because I'll be working one, two, three, four, five, six desert tiles, which is enough. What Petra does is it boosts um, it boosts your desert tiles to be even more productive than regular tiles. So it it gives one food it gives you one food, one production, one gold per desert tile. So that's great. Okay, this mine is done. There. This dude can move here. And another great person. This time I'm going to choose a... Ah, I'm running out of great people. I'm going to go with a great general this time. I'm just playing him somewhere. And... 
continuing on to these decks. And now I can actually send <laughs> my missionary across. Um, perhaps if there is a connection, but I don't see it. Anyways, I can build now a building. I can build a pagoda. It takes me. What happened? Oh. I built tonight. Okay. Uh, a Russian spy stole the philosophy from blank. Yeah. That's tech stealing for you. So, what's happening next is that I'm going to. try to build Alhambra. There we go. And in Tikal I'm going to go for universities. Maybe I could try and open no. They don't like me. Anyways. Engineering. Tum tidum tidum. There are some more resources down here. Um, my declaration of friendship with Russia ended and I'm going to renew it. Yes, there we go. Great. This maritime city-state is almost... There we go. My friend from Lisbon. Now I can sell my pearls to somebody. Let's say Kathy. For cotton. Uh, because I need the happiness for my fourth ci city. And I got some extra ir iron too. So there we go. Okay. It's done. Oh, lots of pearls. Okay. Maybe I could actually... No, oh, this is a good city spot right there. Next is going to be machinery. Friendship, the golden age. Oh, I don't have enough money for research agreement. Okay, I'm gonna fix that soon. Sure, why not? Yep, too. I'll go with physics now. There we go. So I'm in a city for the Kathy Washington Zone 18 text, so it's extremely behind. I need to work on my happiness too. Let me see here. Can I improve this city somehow? Yep. 
I can. There we go. Great. He'll get grab this tile and I'll make a mine there and this city actually reaches its size. So that's fine. Farm this, and now I can decide on. Oh, well, two signs from every specialist. That's a no-brainer. Physics. Next, printing press. Printing press has a new wonder: the Leaning Tower of Pisa, which gives you a free person of your choice and more great people in all cities. There we go. Research agreement. I'm quite a head in tech, that's why he asked for more money. And I got my nice wonder. Next is Colosseum. Still need the happiness. Let me see whom I can sell my horses to. Perhaps Pachacuti. Let's see. Yep, there we go. Great. Probably let's see uh, Washington. Yeah, they have the religion. Uh, they have my religion as the majority of their religion, and I'm going to. I'm really pissed off right now. I'm just going to load my previous turn because this is what not what I wanted to do. I forgot to do the most important thing and that's to buy the pagodas I chose as my um, as my religion bonus and that's what I was saving up all the all the uh, faith for so the pagoda gives me two culture, two happiness and two faith there we go that's what I wanted to do and after that I was doing I can't remember really what. There we go. Oh yeah, horses and this. And Tikal is gonna build a museum. Gunpowder and uh, I'm probably going to rush uh, Himeji Castle. That's my plan. Next is going to be well, if nobody took it already, I'm going to do the Hidden Gardens, no problem. Let's see if I can sign a research agreement with Kathy. Yeah. Deal. Hmm. Not a great person. This time, well, not many choices left. Merchant and artist. So, whatever. 
I'm gonna use this one for great, uh, for great damage. Uh, great people have been changed, so now only the great artist can start a golden age. N no other. Um, so yeah, keep that in mind. There we go. Stolen. Wow. Yep, as you can see, players are st uh, AIs are stealing text left and right. So that's one of the new features of this game. I'm gonna go with the workshop next. I'm gonna use this. There we go. This it reached its maximum potential for growth. Maybe I'll grow it to 12, but that's it. Um, and I got Petra. So I'll just show you what it does. It gives me, as you can see, one food, one production, one gold for every uh, desert tile. Chicken is also built on desert hills, so it's really good, especially if you play like with Arabs and so on. Next is going to be a library, and after that I'm going to go with production stuff, which means workshop, barracks, this is going to be my main production city for units days. Oh, finally built it, so I'm going to go to uni finally. What? This city got the forge? Why? Oh, never mind. Next is armory. And chemistry. Why not? How did they found a religion? Must be broken. Um, I don't remember them having a pantheon before. How did this happen? Hmm. Was it changed? I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure you cannot find a pantheon once um, somebody in the past Yeah, know that players will no longer be able to found a new pantheon if another player has already enhanced their religion and the number of active pantheons matches or exceeds the number of religions available in the current game. Huh. Okay. It's either a bug or I didn't see them do it. Anyway. Leaning Tower of Pisa. need two more mines up here and here and these guys can just continue to build stuff. 
Huh. Russian, Russians are denouncing me. That's not good. And again. Another blunder. This is something you should take care of. Never forget to check your faith. Really. Don't do what I'm doing. Reloading. I have two more cities I can build a pagoda in. So, yeah. Um. There we go. What did I sell in Tower of Pisa? Yep. Yeah. Using my knowledge of prior events, they denounced me, so. <laughs> It's very important to... Oh, fresh and spice of chivalry. That's not nice. Rushers are getting out of hand. Seriously. They are. Um, now that we got that sorted, it's time to start building cannons, I guess. And the next investment is going to be architecture for another great wonder, another fantastic wonder. is going to be free thought, more science, more science, and you can forgive or um, you can roughen your relations with an AI when you catch them stealing. So, so many things to build. with faith, not yet. Uh, yes, cotton for pearls. <laughs> I think I'll just rush by a workshop here. I need the production really bad. There we go. <laughs> My first game. This is for Washington. And another cannon is going to go. for cash this time. Yep. Next is going to be economics. Huh. How I'll finally build the pyramid. Finally, 
Next, the way to reduce enemy espionage in your cities is by building uh, two buildings, the Constabulary, which is a um, Renaissance building, which reduces enemy spy steam rate by 25%, and there is the police station later on, which adds another 25% on top of that. So in combination those two are great. There we go. Plank isn't going to grow very, very large, I can tell that immediately. Um, But I'm prepping the army for attack on Washington. It's gonna be quite nice. And finally, the final great person is going to be the Great Merchant. There we go. And what to do with him? Well, hmm, might as well settle him. That's gonna work too, like here. Since they cannot be used to uh, pop a golden age. And I almost forgot again. There we go. person for my empire and it's going to be a great scientist. Um, this is a bonus from building the Tower of Peace so you can choose a great person of choice. There we go. Lighthouse obviously. turns away from industrialization which will give me a Gatling gun. Uh, I can upgrade these crossbows to Gatling guns. Now she denounced me. Okay. And I can capture probably Washington quickly enough with that. Horses to fetch it and dead legs. Maybe I can sell some iron to Harold. Nice. Yep. Good. And next is porcelain tower. <laughs> I'm just spamming wonders. Hostile. There we go. I'm in the industrial era. This upgrade is quite expensive but also quite worth it. So um, I have coal, it seems. Which is rather nice. up is scientific theory, I got another spy and this one. So now I'm going to switch roles, now I'm going to see who's the tech leader. Uh, I'm the tech leader. So I guess I can simply place my great super spy into one of these city-states 
my choice. And I'm actually going to go with the Hokia here. Yeah. Yeah. That's the most interesting one. So I'm going to send my Super Spy to Tsehokia and I'm going to move my Noob Spy to Palink to level up. And... How far are we away from rifles? Seven turns or scientific theory? I'm going to go with rifling first. Actually on second thought these cities are so low on hit points that I don't need it yet. Scientific theory it is. There we go. I could probably just disband this guy or just keep him for miles. Um And yep, that's it. I hit the industrial era. Um, I'm going to finish up here. I'm just going to say one thing. Um, once you hit an industrial era, you can actually use um, great profits stop spawning automatically and instead you can now purchase great people with faith so as you can see first great person would cost me 670 faith and you can choose a great person from it depends on the, the social policy trees you picked you don't need to fill up the whole tree you just need to have at least one social policy so for a great artist you need piety for patron um, for great merchant you need commerce for a great scientist you need rationalism for a great general or admiral you need autocracy and for a great engineer you need to be in order so I am going to do order of course next and I am going to be able to buy um, going to be able to buy merchants scientists and engineers with faith. I think I've purchased a uh, pagoda in all my cities now. Yep, so I'm getting plus 8 happiness from that, which is great. And yeah, see you guys in the next video.